even the ace attorney would be astonished by such a fantastic idea! My part of power is an idea that kills two birds with one stone. To make people think the killer is some pervert, it makes sense for a school swimsuit to be stolen. And if that swimsuit was used to make an improvised weapon, it has to be disposed of later. How about it, Monokuma? Are you satisfied now? Are you? This happiness you feel when the mystery you create is solved. Only producers know this feeling of ecstasy. But the real important talk begins now. Girl E had someone who can be called an accomplice. That person was actually Girl D. Girl D. You're talking about Mahiru, right? Huh? Mahiru is the accomplice? What is this? What does that mean? The piece of face that became an important clue in the music room murder. Girl D got rid of it. Yeah. And apparently the reason Girl E committed murder in the first place was to protect Girl D. Girl D was being harassed by the victim. Girl E found out and tried to stop it. And they ended up getting into an argument. And she felt a rush of anger and ended up killing her. But she should have had a clear murderous intent. I mean, she choked her out and then bludgeoned her to death. She probably made her unconscious by accident. And from there, she couldn't go back. I, I, I still don't understand that, Phoebe. You can? That's pretty scary. But <laughs> was also killed by someone on the fourth day. Or the game's last day. I might as well ask just in case. Who do you think killed Girl E? Girl E's killer. Right now, the only person I can think of is that guy. Guy F. I see. It should have been Guy F. Yeah, Uyuhiko. A scenario where Guy F murders Girl E out of a burning hellfire desire to avenge his murdered sister but, but guy f is what it's just a story in a video game isn't it that's all you can say if that game is telling the truth it'd be a huge problem for you yep hey clear this up for me those of you who appeared as characters in the game do you remember this incident no none of them should Terribly sorry, but they don't remember. That's obvious. Because their school memories were like totally stolen. Even if I don't remember, I already know. It's obvious that guy is the killer. No one would kill a nice person like Mahiru besides a piece of shit menace to society like Fuyuhiko. Girl E and Mahiru were killed by that guy. <sighs> you sure do talk a lot of shit. Well, I'm used to it by now. Does Mahiru's murder have anything to do with that game? Perhaps the two are unrelated. No, the game and Mahiru's death are probably related. In actuality, there's an important shared point with Girl E and Mahiru. Is that supposed to be the proof that the game is relevant to Mahiru's murder? Oh, wait, what? Important shared point with, point with oh, the bat. I can prove it with this. I overthought that again. Me and, me and overthinking. I'm not sure the two events are unrelated. At the very least, the killer has definitely played the game. As proof, Mahiru, who was killed in the beach house, and girl E, who was killed in the game, were both killed by a blow to the head with a metal bat. There's no way we can ignore that connection. Someone must have wanted to split her head open the exact same way they avenged the first victim. Hey, why don't you confess already? You're the one who killed Mahiru, right? You better cut that out right now! There is no way a stupid game could be the motive! You're dumb enough to believe that stupid game and that's why you killed her as revenge! If you keep making up your mind like that, 
we're just going to go around in circles. Yeah. Hiyoko, or you need to calm down, girl. It's true, Fuyuhiko may look suspicious. Don't you think that'd be too obvious? What? What did you... I mean, there's a possibility that it's a trap set by the true killer. T trap? What do you mean? The true killer played that game and most likely found out about the relationships between the characters. That person could be using that knowledge to try to set up for you, Hiko. Are you saying that a completely different killer murdered Mahiru and used the game motive as their cover? Isn't that what happened, Hiyoko? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Pekko! Shots fired! Huh? <laughs> oh! Shots fired from Pekko? I I would not have expected Pekko to throw a shot out like that. <laughs> what is this? Like, I can only laugh. <laughs> oh, she's on her toes. Oh, she's on her toes. <laughs> I still I still think this is like red herring material. But damn, we, uh, I was not expecting Paco to call her out like that. What are you saying, you four-eyed troll? Accusing me of killing Mahiru? <laughs> You're so mean! Why do you doubt Hyoko? Do you know where Hyoko was today? She was at the beach house, the scene of the crime. But I didn't go to the beach house! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Your footprints were at the beach, Missy. Going away from the house. You lied. Yes! <laughs> I actually somehow pulled that off. I wasn't expecting that. You literally ran away crying from the murder scene, okay? Why would you lie about that? Seriously, I told you I didn't! You did not! These footprints in the sand in front of the beach house, aren't they yours? I don't have such ugly footprints! They're probably Nikon's based on how ugly they are! I don't decide that based on ugliness! Hmm, huh. not Yoko's footprints? That's strange. Footprint I collected from your room matches these footprints perfectly. Collected? I never gave you permission to collect that, you nasty pedo! Plus, the footprints left in the sand were facing away from the beach house. That they were. Which means, when the owner of these footprints went inside the beach house, they used a different entrance. A different entrance? Are you talking about the door facing the road that Mahiru's body was leaned against? Are you saying when that person went inside the beach house, the body hadn't appeared yet? The door was still accessible when they went in, and wasn't when they left. Which means something happened between those two events. Isn't that right, Hyoko? Ah! I remember now. I remember when I went to the beach house. Hmm. So you finally decided to confess. I'm pretty sure you guys already know this, but going for walks in the morning is my daily routine. I don't... I won't say no to that. I've never heard of that daily routine before. Whoa! Once when I went to the beach house, I went there on my morning walk. I see. If you went there during your morning walk, that doesn't have anything to do with the case at all. Mm, no, because those footprints would not be there, Akane. Don't believe her so easily, dumbass. She's obviously lying. Huh? It's a lie? It's a lie, yes. But why is she lying is the better question. Because again, I don't this is, I don't I don't think it's her. I genuinely don't think it's her. I think they're targeting her as much as I hate to believe it. But uh, I, uh... people who call other people liars are usually liars themselves. 
If you say I'm lying, prove it. Can you even prove that I'm lying? <laughs> There's no way a bunch of worthless idiots like you guys would be able to do that. Oh, we will be able to, because you're gummy bear. Oh, gummy bear's not on there. Okay. The letter, maybe? I did go to the beach house. But only during my morning walk. I didn't go any other time. Mm -mm. Then you didn't meet up with Mahiru. But I don't know anything about house? that. <laughs> Obviously not. Saying I met up with her when I never even saw her? Oh, well. No, that's wrong. I didn't think that we would be hitting. I, I should have waited because I didn't think that we would hit the morning walk thing so fast. The morning walk, huh? Will you still claim that after you take a look at this letter? I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put it in the unbox. But what we discussed earlier is it okay if we change the place and the time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island, 2.30 p.m. It seems like there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret until then, and let's try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if we they started just suspecting us for no reason. That letter! It's the one Mahiru had, right? I see. So Hiyoko was able to arrange a meeting with Mahiru by exchanging letters with her. What is that letter? I'm serious. I don't know. I don't trust you. Oh, snap. I remember now. I totally saw you. Huh? Me and Hajime met up at the diner around 3 p.m. to go to the beach. Yep. I saw you about 30 minutes later, so it should have been around 3.30 p.m. I see. So if she met Mahiru at 2.30 p.m., killed her, then ran away afterward, I think 3.30 p.m. is a reasonable time for you to have witnessed here. You're wrong! You're totally wrong! Here's the thing. She ran away crying. I don't think that she would run away crying if she was guilty. Unless she, if she had, like, a fit of rage, but I don't expect that. Did you mention it? You also passed by the diner for your Hiko. So you should have seen Hyoko too, right? No, I didn't. That's the problem that I have with this. It's just a coincidence that I passed by the diner. I wasn't even paying attention to the beach house. I see, I don't believe that. I went straight back to my cottage after I saw you guys. I didn't see anyone during that time. For some reason, that sounds suspicious too. The intent here is what's getting me. That's That's what's signaling the red flags for me on Fuyuhiko, right? Is It's that intent. Now, could they throw a random third person at the wall? Yes. But I have... I, I the, Just the way that Hiyoko reacted, because I think Hiyoko was probably the second person to see the body. Um, and we were the third, which is why the body announcement played immediately. Because the first person would be Fuyuhiko, who killed her. The second person would be Hiyoko. Um, oh, no. Kazuishi was the third. Um, and then we were number four. So the body discovery announcement would have played. It's the truth. Deal with it. I don't trust it. Just leave him alone. It'd be a waste of time to question him any further. Anyway, that letter in Kazuichi's testimony says it all. You were meeting up with Mahiru at the beach house. Seriously? I don't know. I didn't even write that letter. I, I'm telling the truth. I really, really don't know. Is she really crying? Or is she faking it? She's probably faking it. We can assume she summoned Mahiru with the intention of killing her all along. That's why she wrote a letter to let her know where to meet, so the others wouldn't find out. And then you went ahead to the beach house, hid yourself in a specific place, and waited for Mahiru. There's evidence for that, too. The gummy bear. The only place I can think of uh, where Hiyoku was hiding was probably that place, right? Spot selection. Here. The place where Hiyoku was hiding. Are you talking about the closet? Yes, that's right. The gummy candy we found on the floor is the evidence. Hiyoku. 
Your favorite candy is gummy. Correct? <laughs> What's a gummy? I've never eaten something like that before. Why are you lying? <laughs> I have captured the true character of this mystery. Hyoko, who summoned Mahiru to the beach house, hid inside the closet like a familiar. When she saw her chance, she attacked her like an evil spirit and left the beach house like a swift wind. But Hyoko miscalculated that Mahiru's body would be blocking the door at that time. Because of that, she was only able to leave from the beach side door and ended up leaving her footprint. <laughs> we have presented the proof. My four dark devas of destruction didn't even need to come out. It's a trap. This is obviously someone's trap. Who's someone? Whose trap is it? It must be that one person. You know, the one with the mask, maybe? The one with the mask? There was a suspicious mask at the beach house, right? Whoever was wearing that could be the real killer. You're the one who wore that mask and killed Mahiru, right? There's no way I'd wear such a childish mask. Is your brain fight or something? But then again, there's no way Fuyuhiko would do it either. That's right. It cannot be Hyoko. That mask belongs to Sparkling Justice. Huh? Sparkling what now? That mask says it all. Sparkling Justice is hiding on this island. Which means the legendary serial killer Sparkling Justice is the one who killed Mahiru. Why you? If you continue to say such foolish things, I shall tear you limb from limb. Don't blame Miss Sonia. It's just a difference between cultures. A uh, culture shock, you know? Yoko, why don't you just admit it already? You're being unreasonably stubborn. It's all in your head. Oh, why can't you understand? I'm not the killer. It's true that Yoko is suspicious, but there is something strange. Something doesn't make sense. I can't help with the feeling of, that we're being di directed by someone. Make your argument directed by someone. Footprints, trash can, gummy escape route, gummy bag. That's Nagido. I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Hiyoko is the sinner who killed Nahiru! I believe that. There's no doubt. You went to the beach house, right? Yes. Uh, oh, is... And weren't you also hiding in the closet? So that's when you dropped the gummy. You waited for your chance to kill Mahiru. And dropped the gummy. And afterward, you fled from the beach house. At the time, the door facing the road was blocked by the body. So you were forced to flee from the beachside entrance. And that's how you left your footprints! No, it's not. I shall render my verdict upon this mystery's conclusion. Is it the gummy bag? From the beachside entrance. And that's how you left your footprints! Shall render my verdict upon this mystery. I'm gonna go with the gummy bag. There's no doubt you went to the we didn't see a gummy bag. And weren't you also hiding? So that's when you dropped the gummy. Yes! No, that's wrong. Trusting my gut that time. Let's go. Okay. About that gummy. Did Hyoko really drop it? I don't think so. The only one childish enough to eat gummies is that midget over there. I disagree. Because again, if somebody knows. Like Nagito, this dumb freaking. <sighs> um, he could have dropped the gummy and then been like, "Oh, but it's Hiyako's favorite candy, so it has to be her, and this is why, and ah, uh, and ah, uh, and this is everything that I need to know." And it's like Nagito, shut the fuck up! I don't care. You can die, and I would not care. It's Nagito, even though I know he's not gonna die because he's Nagito and he's freaking. The, the the damn evil interlude person. So it's, of course he's not gonna die, but it's true Yoko likes to eat gummies, but she only eats a specific brand. The brand of gummies you eat only have strawberry, melon, grape, and orange flavors, right? Well, but what about the lemon flavor? 
flavor. The, the gummy at the crime scene is yellow, so it obviously looked like it was lemon flavored. Huh? That gummy is yellow? Then it's not mine! The ones I eat don't have any yellow gummies! What? That's right! None of the gummy bags in her cottage had any yellow ones. Then we can't assume Hiyoko is the one who dropped that yellow gummy. See? Didn't I tell you? It's definitely a trap! Ugh, damn it! Who would set a trap like this? I'll get my revenge! I'm gonna bop you on the head with all my might! Hold on, you little bitch! You think you're in the clear just because of a little gummy? Yes. Don't be stupid. I'm not done backing you into a corner yet. It's because you're the killer! Hyoko yet there's still a huge piece of evidence left mm. throw it on me you're talking about the footprints near the beach house right it's true that's an important piece of evidence and we can take the my iron bar report. window what does that mean Mahiru used her last ounce of strength and blocked the door to the road thanks to her we have the evidence we need wrong I left those footprints during my morning walk I disagree with that we're not done with Hyoko yet there's still a huge you're talking about the footprints it's true that's him and we can thank Mahiru for it what does that mean Mahiru used her last ounce of strength and okay no Oh! Oh! Oh my god! She I had the right thing but the wrong reason. Oh. That's important. And we can thank Mahiru for it. What does that mean? Mahiru used her last ounce of strength and Oh my god. Thank you. No. <laughs> okay. Wrong right right thing, wrong reason. Mahiru didn't block the door. Her death. Instant. instant death? According to my autopsy, yes, there's no doubt that Mahiru died instantly. If you keep making shit up, I'll fucking kill you! Not before we kill you first by exposing you. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't worry, Miko. Here Mikon. we go. You cannot do that. Only a coward threatens women. Facts, Sonia. I'm pretty sure her death was instant too. I mean, her injury was only a single blow. That's why Mahiru isn't the one who blocked the door. Someone else used your body to block it. Yeah, because what happened here is that Hyoko becomes instant, like, target number one because she had to run out the beachside door, exposing her footprints. Where the killer, after striking Mahiru uh, with the bat, bopped her, blocked the door to force that, and then went out the window. The killer, of course. They're the one who blocked the door with Mahiru's body. That's why there were bloody drag marks left on the floor. But why did the killer block the door? Just ask Kyoko. She's the killer, after all. No, because if she was the killer, then she wouldn't have her footprints exposed. Seriously? That's not true! Let's assume Kyoko is the killer. Wouldn't that mean she's also the one who dragged the body? Which is fairly... Unlikely. If she handled the body that bloody, I think her clothes and skin would have been stained with blood. Exactly, especially when we saw her running. Huh? But when I saw her, she was... She was clean. See? I told you I wasn't the killer! Yay! With this, my innocence has been proven! I won't let you look down on me! We haven't decided that yet. Hey, Fuyuhiko, why do you keep insisting that Hyoko is the killer? Shut up! I'm telling you, she's the killer! That little bitch is definitely the killer! Mondo style killer kills female character that I like twice in a row? That sounds very accurate. 
Mahiru didn't block the door. Then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Mahiru didn't block, then Hiyoko did it. She killed Mahiru and blocked the door with her body. Hiyoko is the only killer I can think of. If Hyoko moved the body, then she should be covered in blood. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the beach house. After she moved the body, she just walked the fact that Hyoko oh, was at the beach house. Can be proven. Did you get all that, you bastard? So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the beach. After she moved the body, she just washed it off in the shower. The fact that Hyoko was at the beach house can be proven by the footprints in the sand. Did you get all that, you bastard? Okay. So what, dumbass? There's a shower room inside the beach house. After she moved the body, she just washed it off in the shower. Allow me to cut through those words. I got a lot better at that, I'm proud. No, washing it off in the shower is impossible because the shower in the beach house was out of order. Out of order? I'm terribly sorry. I haven't had any time to actually repair it. Then... Maybe she took her clothes off to move the body, and when she was done, she put them back on. But we would still see blood. Are you saying I did something that perverted? Absolutely not. That should be impossible. Because she can't get undressed by herself. Wow. What? <laughs> that was dumb. Okay. Oh, I'm. I see. That. I. Listen to me, wait, please. did I say the right I thing? This before. I said the right thing and clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> I literally said she can't get dressed by herself. Proceeds to click, she can't get undressed by herself. Oh. I can't tie my kimono smash sash by myself. Oh. Which means Kyoko can't change by herself. It's impossible for her to put on and take off her clothes. What? Oh yeah, she couldn't even tie her sash on her own. That's why she couldn't take a bath and smell bad. I, I didn't smell. I at least smelled a little. Oh, wasn't changing inside the beach house prohibited in the first place? That's true. Yes, if you broke the rules, I'm pretty sure Monokuma wouldn't have kept quiet. Damn right! I'm such a stickler for the rules that even Safari Park Rangers want nothing to do with me. If she didn't change her clothes, then what did Hyoko do with the blood that got on her? Nothing got on her. Like I've been saying, the blood wasn't on me in the first place, because I never touched Mahiru's body. I agree. If you think about it the other way around, does that mean whoever was covered in blood is suspicious? Akane. Because if so, I believe Akane was soaked with blood when we all met up to go to the beach. Didn't I tell you that was because I got beat up by Coach Nekomaru? I can attest to that. If I hadn't gotten that rough with her, she never would have backed out. All right, there you go. Alibi. Doubt me of all people. You got some nerve. All right, I'll bend your body in half so you're stuck in a bowing position for the rest of your life. Because you were target number two for me. It was Fuyuhiko as target number one. It was Akane's two, and I had Nekamaru at three. Uh, if, and again, if Nekamaru and um, Akane both just uh, basically... I, I'm counting that as proving their innocence, which means that it is Fuyuhiko without a doubt in my opinion. That actually sounds pretty cool. The hell it does. Hey... More importantly, I'm okay now, right? I, I, it, you've been okay in my entire mind. Okay. I've been trying to prove you innocent. Then I'm not the killer? Yeah, seems like it. See, I already told you. There's no way I'd kill Mahiru. Because Mahiru taught me how to wear a kimono, and she was very, very kind. 
There's no way I would kill a nice person like her. Why wouldn't you believe me earlier? I mean, you guys have been besties the entire time, so. You guys are stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Kyoko, please don't cry. Everything is fine now, right? Shut the hell up, pig bar. I hope you get a hangnail and die. However, she's annoying. I hated I hated the fact that I had to prove her innocence, but and I'm sorry for being pig bar. More importantly, Fuyuhiko's behavior earlier was definitely strange. Getting so worked up and accusing Hi Hiyoko for, for of being suspicious. Could it be does he actually have something else in mind? Hey, Hiyoko, now that our suspicions have been addressed, can you tell us the truth? Gosh dang it, Nagito. Huh? Even though you're not the killer still went to the beach house, right? Like I said, it was a trap! Yeah, I got that already. So, can you give us the details about that trap? I would like to know too. It might lead to some kind of clue. Fine. You want me to talk, huh? Um, earlier this morning, Mahiru was the one who came up to me. She asked if we could meet up later. Huh? But didn't you say earlier... She never talked to me at all. Man, what a surprise. I didn't expect you to ask me such an easy question. Damn it. So that was a lie? Yeah, because she's been lying. She's a lying son of a bad word. Because I thought it'd Even be though I dropped the if I admitted it. So I figured it was better not to say anything. Always tell the truth. So, what was your answer to Mahiru's invitation? I told her it was fine. I mean, I didn't have a reason to say no. Unlike everyone else here, Mahiru was someone I wasn't embarrassed to be seen with. You always have to say something snide. At the time, we were supposed to meet around 2 p.m., but... Around noon, there was a letter inside my mailbox. A letter? Yeah, this one. I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. About what we discussed earlier, is it okay that we... If we change the place, I want to. I want you to come to the beach house on the second island. The time will still be the same at 2 p.m. Seems like someone wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep this a secret and tell them. Let's try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. Mahiru. Letter Hiyoko received has been added as a truth bullet. I saw this letter and went to the beach house at that time. Yeah, the it because. They wanted to, yeah. I can prove it with this. This letter, doesn't it look like its contents are different from the letter Mahiru had? About what we discussed earlier, is it okay that we change the time and place? I want you to come to the beach house at the second floor at 2.30. I, I caught that, I caught onto that too. The two versus the 2.30 situation. Mahiru's letter said to meet at 2.30 p.m. But in Hyoko's letter. At two. Because, and, and it allowed Hyoko to hide in the closet. Cause I think Hyoko did hide and then when he saw, or when she saw the fact that the, the, he, the girl was getting killed. Whoa, the meeting times are off. It's also strange that both letters wanted to change their meeting spot to the beach house. It would be plausible if one of them said it, but for both letters to say the same thing? Hiyoko, since you wrote it, what do you think? Like I said, I never wrote the letter. How many times do I have to tell you? Is it safe to say the letter was forged by the killer, but which letter did the killer forge? I think the letter that Mahiru had was forged. Damn it! Or are they both? Actually, that would make sense. I see. The killer must have forged both letters. The killer forged them so they could manipulate their actions. Yeah, that's how we should think about it. That seems very likely. In fact, 
If you compare both letters, confirmed. Just as I assumed, the handwriting is the same. The content of the letters matches too. Like this part. I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. This part. It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. And this part. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. The, the killer forged both of those letters. In doing so, they were able to control Hiyoko and Mahiru to do their bidding, like a netherworld puppeteer. So they completely tricked me, and then Mahiru's killer. <laughs> This is really terrible. I've offered to help so many times, but the killer this time didn't discuss their plan with me at all. It's all my fault. I'm so ashamed of being unreliable. Here we go again. Once we let our guard down, this happens. We can just lightly punch him to death later. Agreed. You want to take the blow from me here? So based on what the letter said, you went to the beach house at 2 p.m., right, Hiyoko? Probably hit. What's most important is what happened after me. What on earth happened there? <laughs> I fell asleep. Why'd you fall asleep? It's not like I wanted to. I think I was forced to get a whiff of some kind of medicine or something. <gasps> medicine? That medicine. Did pee? Did they get it from the drugstore? I thought that place seemed unsafe. They even have prescription medicines laying out in the open. If you were aware of that from the start, you should have done something about it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Not much she could do. When I woke up, I was inside a small closet. Yep. And when I rushed out, I I saw Mahiro's body. And that's why you ran out of the beach house in such a panic. I, I was scared. It was really, really scared. So she got hit with chloroform. Really <laughs> The killer probably planned to frame Hyoko from the start. Yeah, I, that's what I thought. For reason, they summoned Hyoko before Mahiru, put her to sleep, and shoved her inside the closet. So their reason for blocking the door with Mahiru's body was to make Hyoko leave her footprints as evidence. Everything was done to frame Hyoko as the killer. That's horrible. I didn't do anything wrong. And I was... Please do not cry. We believe you. Is it really okay to believe her so easily? She might be faking those tears, you know. Ah. This will never end if you keep being so suspicious. Isn't that what a class trial is all about? The only way to survive is to be suspicious. This is where we go to thoroughly doubt each other. So if you believe in each other so easily, then there's definitely something wrong with you. You're wrong, Fuyuhiko. We aren't supposed to doubt each other here. We're supposed to work together. The class trial is where we cooperate with each other, work hard, and aim for victory. The killer and everyone else. Two hopes attempting to grasp the one true hope. Two hopes clashing with each other is poetry in motion. That is what a class trial should be. Seriously, which side are you on? Monokumas. I'm on the side of the absolute hope that can overcome any despair. And I believe that absolute hope exists at the point where two hopes clash. Your stance is neither white nor black, but gray. And you do not yearn for your life or even for victory. Jeez, I wish he'd just side with the enemy already so I can believe what he's saying. Facts! Let's stop. Believing every little thing Nagito says is a waste of time. Yeah. We need to figure out who Mahiru's killer is. There should be a new clue contained in what Hyoko has told us. So, let us believe Hyoko's words and discuss it once again with everyone. Yep, yep. The debate proceeds when you assume you can believe each other. Good job. That's the right way. That's the splendid power of teamwork. Hey, what do you think of that, Monokuma? <laughs> I'm going to let you have the outcome you want. Whoa, whoa, he's sleeping. Dumbasses. You bastards don't know anything. 
If you're stupid enough to trust each other, the only thing waiting for you is the bitter truth. The bitter truth. That may be true, but even so, we can't just stand around here all day. Even what, if what lies ahead is cruel ending, the cr is a cruel ending. The only thing we can do is move forward. Because unless we reveal who among us is my hero's killer, there's no way we'll survive. Intermission. Yup. Well, since we're at intermission, in the next episode of Dragon Robot 2, Goodbye Despair, we'll be tackling.